How about the football win, first and foremost? How about the job, like, appreciate you guys being here when that game was being played, a huge game. Coach Chiano couldn't be more happy. I just, that's the one great news after the game was over. Um, and I also, you know, Dick Vitale is a legend in coaching and um, in TV and in college basketball. And, um, you know, just very thankful that Coach Patino allowed, you know, this game to be for, you know, the V Foundation. He's a Rutgers guy and, and so was so was Dickie V. He's a Rutgers guy too. So um, appreciate, appreciate the people coming out that supported it. Appreciate Coach Patino, you know, putting it together and, uh, you know, just uh, thankful. Learned a lot about my team today, you know. Um, yeah, I, you know, we got to work on a lot of stuff as you do at this time of the year. But um, it's a good group. It's a good group and we could have rolled over and we just kept playing and, you know, it was a heck of a game and, you know, they came out on the, uh, on, on the win side, but I think it was a win for everyone when it's pediatric cancer, when it's Dick Vitale, when it's Valvano, and uh, Coach Siano with a big W. So, you know, overall, a good day for a, a lot of people. Steve, defensively, you look like a totally different team in the second half. What do you attribute that to? Is that just early season getting to know your team and getting to know themselves? Well, I do, and you know, I attribute, they were really good offensively. We turned the ball over a ton, so they got extra opportunities. You know, that's a good team. Those kids are all, all league players, you know, from all the different places. Seriano's big in the post. Um, I thought we settled down. First game on the road, too. Thought we settled down and, uh, you know, kind of played Rutgers basketball in the second half. and. Uh, you know, again, a lot of new guys playing 10 guys, a lot of faces, a lot of lineups. And, you know, we got to give them a Watt and Big E back, Emmanuel. But, uh, you know, certainly some positives, you know, here today for us. A lot of guys contributed. Gavin and Jay Mike got their first opportunity, you know, to, to play live. Austin is getting healthier and better. Um, so some good signs, you know, by a lot. But we got to shoot the ball better. We didn't make free throws. That's, you know, that's. What you can't do when you play games on the road against a team like that. What do you think of Jamichael and Gavin in their first half? Yeah, I mean, good. I mean, they certainly got to get better, but, you know, they, they, are, uh, they play hard. Um, you know, obviously they're, they're good players. Um, and so, you know, they, they, got, they got to devour film now and they got to get better. We got, you know, another one coming up and then we got Princeton. So got a lot of stuff going on. Uh, what do you feel like you could take away from that final stretch the last 10, 12 minutes where your guys are down double figures and they come back to you know, take the lead and then close overtime? Yeah, I mean, I, I just think, you know, we were down 20 at one point, so I come back and tie the game a couple times. And, you know, we just got a, some timely rebounds, a couple more free throws. Uh, but you can't put yourself in a hole like that either, especially when you're on the road. So I think we learned, a, you know, we'll learn a lot, take a lot from this. and. You know, we're figuring it out too, just like, you know, Coach Patino, I'm sure, is Steve, trying to figure it out. Cliff was playing an, an all Big East, big man, great battle. He played really well. What did you yeah. take away from him on both ends? I mean, we need Cliff to be, you know, like that. I mean, he's, uh, he's so talented and uh, he gives us an anchor, obviously, in the middle, both defensively and, and obviously Soriano's a good player too. So he was tested tonight, which was good. And I think they both went at it pretty good. And, uh, and, you know, we got to get Cliff the ball more during stretches. That's certainly, especially when we're not shooting the three um, well. And, uh, you know, but Cliff's good and he's improved. And um, he's going to have a heck, a heck of a year for us. How much books you match when you're doing experimentation? Just how much were you trying things out versus trying to, to win the game? What was your approach? You're always trying to win the game. But, yeah, you, you know, when the reason I like to play close scrimmages because I like to try different lineups and I like to do things like that. You know, when you open it up, it's, it's different. So, um, you know, we, we got some pieces. I think we got a lot out of this, you know, scrimmage today. I'm thankful for, again, Coach Patino, St. John's, ton of respect for the program. Talented guys are going to have a heck of a year this year, you know. But uh, you're trying to figure out your guys. You want to end the game. You know, like a, 10 guys got some minutes, so they got their feet wet. And I like the fact that that. Um, but yeah, it's a combination of both. You're always trying to, you're always trying to win, but you're also trying to see some guys too, which I think Steve, is Steve, how important. is Milwaukee doing? Could you have played today if like, you had to, or was it yeah, we're not, you know, Yeah, we're, we're not ready yet to put him in the middle of games. Okay. That's not, that's not where he is. He can play, but um, we're bringing him along at the right pace, right. and you know, hopefully big hit, big Emmanuel too. Hopefully someday. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks, Take care, guys. All right, we'll see you. Thanks, guys. Hopefully, uh, 
you know, we'll get those guys back. It seemed they just give us some more depth, but it was good to see the other guys. It was good to see Cho gave us some good minutes, and, you know, some of those guys got some opportunities. Wolf at the four spot. So some of those guys got some opportunities because, you know, some of those guys weren't playing today too. So I think that's, you know, it's the only positive. You don't want anybody hurt. We want to walk back as soon as possible, but gives other guys chances, you know, and uh, we certainly missed his defense tonight too. We played Rutgers defense in the second half. He certainly would have been a guy who could, you know, guard a lot of different people too, especially of, down the stretch. What do you think of St. John's? Yeah, talented, as you know. I mean, I, I really do. And coach is awesome. He's a Hall of Fame coach. So, you know, they're going to play hard, which they did. And, you know, I just thought overall it was just, you know, it was great for us. I know it was great for us, and it's nice to play somebody else. And someone that has this kind of quality, quality coach and quality players, quality crowd, you know, the whole nine yards. But most importantly, thankful for all the people that showed up and, and you know, hopefully make a nice check to um, the V Foundation. Anything, uh, mm -hmm. what was your vantage point of what happened in the end? And some of the I didn't, I was talking to Coach Patino, so you know, that's what happens. Coach, uh, oh, sorry, let me cut you off. Um, with, um, you know, the uh, atmosphere being what it is, it was, looked like 75, 80% full. Um, you know, what did you uh, make of, you know, how your guys sort of responded to that atmosphere and uh, what, uh, you know? Yeah, initially not very good, but, you know, I thought the halftime they kind of settled down and we played, you know, Rutgers basketball. So, yeah, initially not good, but, um, you know, St. John's, give them some credit for that too. They jumped on us and they, they did some things early and then, you know, maybe guys have some jitters and stuff. That's why I like playing these games on the road. But, um, yeah, um, you know, overall, you know, we'll learn from it. We'll get better. And it was, you know, it was a good day and football won. Afterwards. Yeah. So from our vantage point, it looked like a really entertaining two and a half hours. What was it like to play in that game? And what do you think was the difference between the two halves for you guys? No, it was super fun. Um, you know, obviously, I think defensively uh, in the first half versus the second half, um, and our energy, you know, I think in the second half we came up with a little more energy and you know after that deficit um, We've been through that um, on a foreign tour before so um, Faced some faced some adversity early and uh, we kind of knew we had each other's backs and uh, we, we were gonna be all right we We're gonna compete. What did you think of the young guys Joe Michael Davis, Gavin Griffiths, how they performed in their first? You know like just uh, like J Mike man like me falling out and him stepping up uh, What do you have like 16, 16 and 6 like he you know just Gavin, uh, big shots, big plays on defense, um, you know, and they're just going to keep getting better and better as the year goes on. You know, they've been, you know, amazing, you know, up to this point, as you've seen just now in that game. But um, as the year goes on, you know, they're going to get better and better and learn more and more. And, you know, they're going to be a huge part of the team and obviously a huge part of the program, you know, in the future. What was it like for you just being back out on the floor in a college basketball game? I know your last season ended early with an injury. What was it like just being back out there? It was fun just, you know, to compete, you know, hit a couple shots. Um, get some steals. It was fun, you know, running around out there with my team. Um, you know, it was just it was just fun to get back out there for sure. So Cliff is going against an All Big East big man, Soriano, and mm -hmm. he played really well. What's it like? I know you play with him on the tour, but what's it like to have that kind of guy on your team in a game like this? Uh, you know, just super dominant, super efficient. Uh, the first half he was three for three. You know, tried to get him some more looks down the second half. Um, you know, he's just a you know outstanding talent. He works super hard. Um, so, you know, just how he plays, you can't really take nothing away from him. What did you see? I don't know if you were on the floor at the end of the game. It seemed like there was a little skirmish, some mm -hmm. exchange. I guess what did you see from your vantage point? I think it's, you know, it's just um, just competitiveness, you know. Um, I think, you know, St. John's, they, they came to battle, we came to battle. And, you know, it's just competitors, uh, you know, going at it. No, we talked a lot about the tempo for this team early on. St. John's pressing to their advantage. As the game went on, you guys were, like, finding your spots to run. I think. You actually outscored them in fast break points. What did you think tempo-wise what the comfort level was like for you and the other guards? Yeah, I think at the beginning of the game, just, uh, you know, our preparation, you know, we, we play full court man every day, but, you know, playing in an arena with opposing fans and, you know, a different team, different guys, it's a different, you know, it's a different feel. It's a different type of energy. So, you know, um, I think, you know, as the game went on, we kind of got used to their pressure and used to their pace, and um, we kind of controlled the game, I think, more in the second half as to our pace. and you know, defensively, offensively, doing what we wanted to do. Um, so, you know, I think as we go on, it was our first game. Right. I just think, um, you know, adjusting to all those things, those in-game, uh, you know, sort of game within the game type thing. So, um, you know, I think I think the pace, pace was definitely good today for sure. Okay.
you know, with that run in the second half to come back, you guys are down 20 at one point, and you come back and force overtime, you know, going on that stretch on the road in a really a regular season environment, what do you think you, you learned about yourself and about the team during that stretch you guys were able to pull that off? Just, you know, Rutgers basketball, you know, adversity, uh, we're going to keep pushing, we're never going to stop fighting. Um, you know, that's the group of guys we have. We got 15 guys like that, and, you know, we got coaches like that, and, um, that's just that's just the culture, you know, that Coach Pikes has built. Um, you know, we're never going to give up. And, you know, I think as, as fans, Rutgers fans, you know, don't ever give up on us because we always, we always going to compete.